on April 2nd, uh, we launched a multi-stakeholder platform. And the idea here is that, uh, you know, the, as resources globally are becoming uh, more scarce, it's very important for uh, countries to prioritize. Uh, and it's very important that uh, we create complementarity uh, between the different uh, uh, international financial agencies, whether or and also uh, when it comes to uh, uh, trying to have uh, a sequence so that if we are engaging in a project, uh, more than one development partner would come in, there would be complementarities, uh, we would sort of leverage on the comparative advantage that one would have versus the other and, uh, and so forth. So this is just to give uh, an idea of what we mean by the multi-stakeholder platform. We've done it with uh, different uh, ministers uh, over the past few weeks, a minister of uh, public enterprises uh, uh, because of the reforms that are taking place there. Yesterday was agriculture, today we have something with transportation, but here are just uh, examples of where more than one development uh, partner have come together uh, to provide uh, input, uh, whether through technical assistance or financial uh, packages uh, for, for, of course, transportation is a very important sector for Egypt, and we have projects that include uh, uh, AFD, EBRD, EIB, uh, uh, with the Ministry of Transportation. That's one example. We have other examples uh, related to uh, uh, green growth, and this is a Ministry of Electricity has a very uh, ambitious uh, and important uh, policy framework till 2035, a strategy, and here also we have more than one uh, international uh, development partner coming in uh, to help uh, in the implementation of that. Uh, we have another project uh, that was very, very timely and important given COVID. It was uh, with the Egyptian Red Crescent, USAID, Ministry of Social Solidar Solidarity, and then we have the private sector Uber to basically ensure uh, that the workers uh, and the volunteers could uh, actually provide the help needed uh, during, those, uh, during this time. And then finally, just as another example, uh, we had um, uh, UNDP uh, with uh, one of our leading NGOs uh, actually providing assistance to women in Upper Egypt where they would uh, produce masks. And so this was also a very important, um, a very important story for, of uh, effective development cooperation.